This is a digital lesson on scale drawings, finding the missing measurements. So this follows my introductory uh, product of just scale drawings and how they work. This one takes it a little bit farther. This is kind of a seventh and eighth grade activity. So it starts out explaining what similar figures are, scale drawings, that they are in proportion to each other. And then it gives them a definition of corresponding sides. And they start out by recognizing which sides are corresponding. So A and E, B and F, and so on. Then they're shown a couple slides that show them how to create a ratio from the sides that are corresponding on rectangles and triangles and then how to solve for the missing measurement by creating a ratio. And there are a couple ways to do that. So I show them how to solve for X using cross products and how to solve for X by scaling down. And they're giving, then they're giving some problems to solve. So here they have to solve for X using algebra. Again, solving for X. And then I have some real world examples. So uh, two towers that are identical, same shape, but different size and finding the missing measurement. And then there's some other real world examples. This one has the shadows where they can compare the shadows of the two trees. And then it, it moves on to area. So they have to find the missing side and then find the area of a rectangle. And same thing with a triangle, the area of a triangle. The final slide that they have to do is they're gonna be moving these vocabulary words into the correct place in the sentence frame. And then it has all of the completed slides for the teacher. Just make sure before you uh, assign this to the students that you um, eliminate the teacher slides. You can just make a copy of the entire uh, the entire slide deck and then eliminate the teacher slides. And so that's a lesson on scale drawings, finding the missing measurements.